Now I know there's been a ton of speculation flying around lately about Meghan and Harry's financial status ever since they stepped back from their senior royal duties last year. Rumors have been swirling about money troubles and debts piling up. Well, I've got some insider insight that will probably have those two seeing red. According to one of my contacts close to the Sussex's financial advisors, things are not looking good for Meghan and Harry when it comes to their cash flow situation. When they first moved to California and signed all those big money deals with Netflix and Spotify, it seemed like easy street lay ahead. But my source says the reality hasn't matched up with their expectations at all. While the Netflix deal was reported as being worth around $100 million, that figure was more of a pipe dream based on future projects than any lump sum payment. And the details of the Spotify podcast contract have never been fully disclosed. Whatever the terms, production costs have eaten up a huge chunk of that upfront money already. Apparently, Meghan and Harry were counting on using their royal status and brand to secure even more high-paying partnerships and endorsement deals. But according to my contact, deals simply haven't materialized like they thought they would. Hollywood has been hesitant to invest heavily in the Sussexes without proof of strong audiences or track records. And their controversial Oprah interview definitely didn't help with that. So without those big mainstream corporate deals coming through, Meghan and Harry have had to lean more on their Netflix and Spotify deals which aren't bringing in the continuous cash flow they expected. And their lifestyle in Montecito certainly doesn't come cheap. Reports say they've spent over $14 million on that sprawling mansion and property. Property taxes alone are estimated at over $900,000 per year. And if that wasn't bad enough, the costly security arrangements also have to be privately funded now without any assistance from British taxpayer money. It's believed their security bill tops $4 million annually too. With no other substantial income streams established yet, that's leaving Meghan and Harry with some serious financial obligations but limited funds to cover it according to sources. Things have apparently gotten so tight that my contact says Meghan and Harry had to make an embarrassing U-turn recently to return some borrowed jewelry given to them by some high-end designers. The jewelry houses loaned Meghan expensive pieces worth millions to wear for publicity hoping for some exposure. But my source says word got back that Meghan had to send the pieces back early and unprompted as they were struggling and it was getting too costly to keep borrowing like that. Even their Archule Foundation, which was supposed to be a big money spinner, isn't bringing in donations like they'd hoped according to my source. With expenses surpassing income, Meghan and Harry are said to be furious that their financial dreams aren't matching reality. The stress of it all is also taking a personal toll according to my contact. So in summary. It seems Meghan and Harry severely overestimated what they could make from their Netflix and Spotify deals without other major corporate sponsors stepping up. They took on huge costs for the lifestyle in Montecito without establishing a steady revenue stream. And now the money troubles are mounting with limited options to fix it. According to my source deep in their inner circle, it's a full-blown financial crisis that has the Sussexes seeing red. Of course, none of this has been officially confirmed by Meghan and Harry's representatives, Everything is just speculation based on what my contact has shared. But the picture being painted definitely aligns with some signs we've seen publicly too that things may not be as rosy money-wise as they first appeared. Let me know your thoughts on this shocking behind-the-scenes financial drama supposedly unfolding for Meghan and Harry based on what my source has shared. Do you buy that a full-on money crisis could be developing? Is their lavish lifestyle finally catching up to them financially? Or do you think it's all being exaggerated? Sound off in the comments below and we'll continue the discussion. For now, this has been Neil Sean with the latest Royal Insider News Buzz. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload. I'll be back soon with more potential bombshells from behind palace walls. In the meantime, take care and thanks for watching.